So what is the value of the 100th term of this sequence of numbers? Well, that is the question for this particular video. And the title says, many of you don't know where to start. But uh, in actuality, I think after you study this sequence, you'll figure out at least one way to answer the question. All right, so let's go to take a look at this sequence. So the first uh, term or first number in the sequence is seven. The second is 11. The third term is 15. The fourth is 19. So uh, we have a clear pattern. And what you, can, uh, what you can do here, right, is just continue this pattern until you figure out what the value of the 100th term is. But uh, that would require a lot of math, and there is a much better way that we can take in order to answer this question. All right, so whether you know the easy way or the hard way, if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. And then, of course, I'll show you a very nice and direct way we can uh, take to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's talk about this hard way that we could take to solve this problem. And I think most of you probably already figured this out. All right, so from seven to get to 11, it looks like we added four. So maybe that is the rule in this particular sequence. And indeed it is because if we add four to 11, we get to 15. And if we add four to 15, we get to 19. So we could continue this process on all the way until we get to the 100th term in this sequence of numbers. But that is a lot of math. There is a much better way to answer this question. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. And first things first, uh, let's get some basic uh, notation down. So the first term in a sequence, we use this notation right here. It's a sub one. So a sub one is basically uh, just identifies the first term in a sequence, okay, whether it's a geometric or arithmetic sequence. The second term is a sub two, that's of course 11. And a sub three is, a, uh, is a 15, a sub four is 14 and so forth. So what we are looking for is some sort of formula that we could use to give us the value for any term in a sequence. And in this particular sequence, the formula is 4n plus 3. Okay, so how does this work? Well, 4n plus 3, if we wanted to find the value of the fourth term of this sequence, well, we know the answer is 19. So we could use this formula, right? So here it is, a sub n is equal to 4n plus 3. So this will give us the value of any term. So in this case, we want uh, the fourth term in the sequence. So we want a sub 4. So we're going to replace the n. n here is the, um, uh, the term. Okay, so we want the fourth term. So n is equal to 4. So we're simply going to follow this formula, 4n plus 3. So 4 times 4 plus three, so four times four, of course, is 16. 16 plus three is 19. So the uh, value of the fourth term is 19. And of course, we could see that. So uh, a lot of you might be saying, well, that's wonderful, Mr. YouTube Math Man, but how did you figure this out, this four n plus three? Well, this is what this video is about because here, um, hopefully you can see that it's pretty easy to figure out what the 100th term of this uh, sequence is because n is equal to 100, and I could just replace this n with 100, and uh, you could see that the answer is going to be 403. Okay, so how do we figure this uh, formula out? Well, this is not that difficult. So here is a quick little lesson on arithmetic sequences. So every arithmetic sequence has an nth term in the form of this. Now, this is how we get to our lovely formula. So in other words, uh, we have a first term, we have a second term, we have a third term, and then on and on and on. And then, of course, we have the nth term. Now, the nth term can be whatever term we want way out in that sequence. So to figure out the nth term, okay, of course, this could be a 100 or a, uh, a sub 4, uh, it will follow this formula right here. So a sub n, okay, this is our formula, is equal to a sub 1. A sub 1 is the first uh, term in the sequence. Now, we do have that information for, in this particular sequence, right? The first term is 7. So that's a sub 1. 
So uh, it's going to be a sub 1 plus parenthesis n minus 1. We don't mess with the n. And then d is the common difference. Now, if you recall, I uh, told you that the common difference is the value that is separating the numbers in this pattern, which is 4. Okay, we're adding 4. So the common difference here is 4. Okay, so uh, really this is pretty straightforward, uh, straightforward formula to use. So let's go ahead and plug in the values here and get the actual a sub n formula, which of course we already know, which is 4n plus 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this right now. So here is our problem. We have 7, 11, 15, 19. Well, we want the a sub n formula. So how do we find a 100? Well, we got to get that formula first because we're not going to do all this math. So we, uh, we're going to need a sub 1, which we have, right? So a sub 1 is 7. And we can see here that the common difference is 4. That's what we're adding to get to the next value in this sequence. So let's go ahead and plug in uh, this information into the formula. So a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so the things that we're going to plug in is d and a sub 1. All right, the n is going to uh, stay as part of our formula. All right, so a sub 1 is 7. So we're going to have 7 plus parenthesis n minus 1. D again is 4. That's our common difference. So now we can use the distributive property. 4 times n is 4n. 4 times 1 is 4. So we have 7 plus 4n minus 4. And then, of course, we can add these numbers right here. And we get a sub n is equal to 4n plus 3. Okay, so now that we have this lovely uh, formula, we can answer any question about this particular uh, sequence. Uh, this particular arithmetic sequence. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take the next step and answer the question. But before we do that, I need you to do this, which is to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I definitely could use your help. Matter of fact, I'm not shy to ask for help, and neither should you. If you are struggling in math, if you're having a tough time in math, uh, don't try to do everything on your own. You know, ask for help. Now, who should you ask? Well, if you are a student, definitely ask your teacher for help. But if you need uh, more help beyond you know, what your teacher can offer you, well, then I would love to be able to help you out in mathematics. I have over 2,500 plus uh, videos on my YouTube channel from basic math to advanced math. But if you really want to learn math from me, check out my full main math courses, uh, complete full instruction. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And uh, the things that we're talking about right now, arithmetic and geometric sequence, you want to check out like my pre-calculus course. I uh, really teach you pretty much everything that you need to know about this topic and much, much more. Okay, so now let's go ahead and finish this problem up. This is very easy. Now that we have our um, a sub n formula, so we have our first term, we have our second term, and any term would be a sub n. So we can uh, easily identify the value of that term. So what we want is the 100th term in this particular uh, arithmetic sequence, right? We want to get our language down here, correct? So we're looking for a uh, 100, a sub 100. So n is 100. So we're going to plug in 100 for this n. So this is going to be 4 times 100, which of course is 400 plus 3. So the value of that 100th term is 403. Okay, so again, there was a very direct, hard way to do this problem, okay? But, uh, you know, if you took that route, if you're like, all right, well, I don't know uh, the easy way, I don't know a formula, uh, if you added all, this, uh, all, added all these numbers up to get to this value, that's very commendable because it showed me that you didn't quit. But again, you know, uh, the reason why you want to learn a, a lot of math, okay, is because math gives you options, all right? The more math you know, the better, in, uh, at least uh, that's my opinion, because it will just allow you to solve a lot of problems, uh, you know, much easier. But again, if you took a direct uh, path, that is to be commended indeed. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.